Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, I want to thank you for tuning in today first. And I should have some more videos for you in the next couple of days. I've just been so busy that I haven't had time to do so. Today I want to talk to you about self-image and being yourself. Sometimes I know it's a little hard to, um, with society always telling you that you should conform and um, be like everyone else and not stand out. Um, there's an extent to that. Society on one hand is telling us, hey, you can be yourself and um, you can flourish in life. You can do what you want to do and still be happy. But on the other hand, there's society saying you can't be too much of yourself. So you can be yourself, but don't be yourself um, and express everything about your personality or about your individuality. What I am an advocate for is always being yourself. Um, I believe staying true to yourself and being what you want to be in life is a, a major priority that everyone should be looking at. Because if you're, if you're not comfortable being yourself, if you're not comfortable doing things that you enjoy and appearing the way you want to, um, you won't ever really experience life and find yourself, if that makes any sense. There's a, a lot of things that you can do to blend in with others and to conform with society. And um, you could feel like you're being yourself. But if you look around, you're really just being like everyone around you. Whether that's a negative or a positive influence, you're just being um, the same as the crowd. Like everyone around you, you're a mere reflection of them. What I want to encourage you to do is to be yourself. If there's a difference in you or your friends, or if there's a difference in you and some of your family, speak out, be heard. Always stay true to yourself. Um, it's something that a lot of people have trouble with just because they feel like they will be cast out or they will not be accepted. I'm here to tell you that um, the people that don't accept you into their life for being you are not people that you need to be around. That's not someone that you want to waste your time on because it's someone that you will never be able to please. In the end, um, in order to be really happy, to be truly happy, um, what you need to do is be yourself. Please yourself and then the people that accept you for being you and expressing yourself, that will be the people that you want to surround yourself with. Um, those people will be a positive influence on your life in helping you express yourself. Now, I'm not talking about something that's going to harm someone else. Um, sometimes there's some some extent you don't want to do something that's going to hurt someone or harm someone else because um, that's not what I'm an advocate for. I truly believe that in order to completely find yourself, to know who you are, to know what you are and what you stand for, you must first find yourself, be yourself, and express yourself. Because if you don't know who you are or what you are, there's no way that you can be happy in life. Um, you may bounce around from time to time uh, through different things um, and think you're happy, but you can never truly be happy until you know yourself or um, unless you're able to express yourself the way you want to. So always be true to yourself. Um, that's the main topic of today. I know I keep saying it over and over and I keep stressing it. Um, but anyone that doesn't want you to be yourself, that's not a true friend anyway. So that's not someone that you want to keep around. Um, if you have any questions, any concerns, or if there's a situation that you want to discuss with me, I'd be happy to do that. Um, if you have any questions, comments, um, I'd be happy to look at those as well. I really appreciate you tuning in today, and I do hope to have a couple more videos for you in the next few days. So please just keep an eye out for that. Um, I did plan to have a, a few more videos up before today, but I just haven't had a chance to with everything that I have going on. And um, hopefully my business will be up and going soon, so I'll be doing a video for that as well. That's one of the things that's been occupying my time lately. So Hopefully I will have a uh, video for that, uh, for your viewing, within the next couple of weeks or maybe the next month. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Um, like I said, if you have any questions or comments 
or if it's not even about anything in this video, um, tattoos, piercings, anything like that, I would love to go over with you. Uh, tattoo and piercing is a passion of mine, and um, that's also what I'll be doing at my shop as well. So if there's um, any questions that you have about aftercare um, or just general questions, I'd be happy to look into those for you. I really appreciate you tuning in today, and thank you for your time. Hope you have a wonderful day.